Hey guys, I'm El Hari, Twin Flame and Ascension, Alchemist, Writer, Teacher, and Coach. And today we are going to talk about what to do and what not to do when your Twin Flame ghosts you. Um, before we get into that, I want to remind you that we are here to help you. This is what we do. Um, and we have so many ways to do that. Many options are available. So don't just um, hold off from talking to us and reaching out to us just because um, you think like you might not be able to work with us or something. That's not true. We have so many options available. So please check, click the link below this video for your free um, clarity consultation. It's just 15 minutes. You'll sit down with one of our amazing coaches who um, do this better than anyone else in the business. And they can tell you exactly how we can help you depending on your situation, where you are with your twin flame journey, and um, whatever else is going on in your life. So definitely click the link below this video for a free 15 minute clarity consultation and we are ready and waiting to speak with you. Okay, so what to do and what not to do when your twin flame ghosts you. And I remember oh, when my twin flame ghosted me right away, it was just what? But at the same time, I just, I just got just this des that desperate feeling, just building up like, no, no, this can't be happening. And it was almost like I could see it. I was just reaching out, reaching out and just doing everything to like hold on. And I could just see it like slipping through my hands or my fingers, right? It was just like, like I saw the writing on the wall as it was happening and like, like, and then all of a sudden, like, where did he go? Like, like, how did this happen? Just like, I mean, a few short weeks before that, we were in complete bliss. But you know, it did start happening kind of, there were like warning signs slowly and slowly. That's how the fear-based energy works. Um, so if you're there right now, just know that I know what you're going through. Um, we all do here. <laughs> um, and you know, all of my students have been where you are and everyone on this journey has been where you are. It's a rite of passage to go through this. I mean, it has to go through this and it has to hurt the way it's hurting because that is the wake up call. If it just didn't hurt as much, then you wouldn't pay attention. You know, no wake up is that fun, right? Nobody likes to hear the alarm clock go off at like the break of dawn when they're in a beautiful dream and sleep, right? Nobody likes that. It's not comfortable. You know, this, this is why this is happening. It's because your soul is ready and because you need to see this. You need to hear this. Your soul led you, led you to this journey for a reason right now because it's your divine time to do this journey and your soul is ready and it's not going to let up it's going to keep hitting you over the head until you really focus on it and what is going on here now your soul led you to this video because you're meant to learn this now and this is what to do and what not to do when your twin flame goes to you um so first of all uh, for ease ease of explanation's sake i'm going to talk about what not to do first because your first inclination reaction is going to be like oh my god what should i do uh you start calling them getting frantic driving by their house like stalking them on social media trying to find their friends trying to find the family i mean I, we get that and then uh when that all fails you start freaking out and then you start getting all pissed off and you know how could they do this to me and and all of that and you start blaming your twin flame acting like it's something that they are in control of and they are doing on purpose so here's the thing to really resonate with with this journey and this is why it's different and this is why it hurts so bad and this is why there is such a thing as a twin flame journey and there isn't such a thing as a journey with you know every other specific person that you relate with this is because you and your twin flame share the same soul you are the exact same soul what is a soul soul is energy it's an energetic frequency a vibration and there are an infinite number of vibrations, energetic vibrations in the universe. You and your twin flame, and only you and your twin flame, share a unique one that's unique only to you both. And that's what makes this journey so sweet, so amazing, so perfect, and yet so fucking painful. It's because you are the exact same energy. You are the exact same soul. You are a soul, you are not your physical body, and that includes your mind, you are not your mind. Same with your twin flame, your twin flame is a soul, not their physical body, not their mind. Same with me, I'm my soul, not my physical body, not my mind. Nobody is their physical bodies or minds, everyone is a soul. It's how we are created. Your soul is so powerful, it's such the most powerful energy that exists. It's so much more powerful than your mind. Your mind doesn't like to hear that. Your mind always thinks it knows everything. It's so smart and it is so smart, but even like the most smartest mind, like an Einstein or something, 
it is only capable of conceiving of just a tiny, tiny fraction of what is possible, what exists in the universe, and what your soul is capable of. Your soul is so strong that it's trans-dimensional. Like right now, your soul is here in the physical world, a little bit part of it. It's in both your physical body, it's in your twin flame's physical body, and it's also up in the fifth dimension at the same time. It's trans-dimensional. I mean, your mind doesn't do that. Your physical body doesn't do that. Your soul does that. Your soul can transcend dimensions. Your soul is eternal. It cannot be destroyed. There's no ending. There's no beginning. It can, it, it, it's been around for since the beginning of human time, at least, even before that. And it will continue to go into eternity. Your physical body isn't. Your physical body has an expiration date. So does your mind. Now, those are just two examples. I mean, your soul is, is boundless and limitless. Your mind is, and your physical body are just confined to this physical 3D world. You know, there's definite edges to your body. You know, it's your physical body and it doesn't extend beyond, you know, your skin. Your soul extends in every direction infinitely, forever and ever and ever. And that's what you are. You are that powerfulness. And that's what your twin flame is. It's that powerfulness. And in the fifth dimension where your soul originates from, where you go to in between every lifetime and where part most of it is now, is one of love. One And love is limitless. It is that boundlessness. It is that infiniteness, that eternalness. That, that is love. When love, in love energy, love just simply is. That's the energy of love. It's peace. It's contentment. It's joy. It's abundance. It's safety, it's purpose. It's, that's what love is. And so it just is. And when your soul, when you just are, you, there's nothing to learn about anything, including yourself. Because why? In order to learn what something is, we have to learn what it's not. And so in order to learn what's up, for example, you have to know what's down or else it just is, right? You don't know if it's up or down unless there's something above it or below it, which is up or down right? There has to be an, an, an opposite to learn what something is. You have to learn what something is not. And there, enter the 3D physical world and your body and your mind and why your soul incarnates here into every lifetime. It's because when you incarnate here, you learn about things. And, you know, during the first incarnations of humans on the planet, they, you know, they had to learn about physical things. So they had to learn, you know, about like up and down, you know, <laughs> in and out and fire and, you know, how to feed themselves and like all this other stuff. And then, you know, we've obviously progressed and progressed and progressed. And now people who are on the Twin Flame journey are awakening to the, the opportunity now because your soul is ready to learn about itself. And how your soul learns about itself, again, is the same way, through opposites. So your soul needed to incarnate here into the into the paradigm into the 3d paradigm of fear which is opposites and duality up and down hot and cold in and out light and dark good bad those only exist in the fear-based world remember in the 5d everything is love it just is it's even here in 3d things have opposites and duality and that's perfect because that's why your soul incarnates here and that's why you have a twin flame. That's why everyone is and has a twin flame. It's because your soul, when it incarnates here into 3D paradigm of duality and opposites, remember its energy is one of love, not duality and opposites. The part that incarnates here needs to assimilate energetically into the same paradigm of duality and opposites of the 3D physical world. And so your soul does that by making two opposites of itself. One of those opposites is within your physical body. One of those opposites is within the physical body of your twin flame. And that's how and why twin flames are here. That's why they exist. That's why everyone has one and is one. It's how we're created. And remember, in, in opposites, your soul's energy. And to make opposites in terms of energy, um, that is called polarity. And so one of the polarities of your soul's opposing fear-based energy is in your body, your physical body. And the other one is in your twin flame's physical body. It's the same exact energetic wave. You're the same exact frequency, the same exact vibration, same exact energetic field. It's just polarized. That happens when you begin your, your twin flame journey at what's called soul recognition. The instant your soul recognizes itself within the physical body of your twin flame, the twin flame energies become activated. The energy within that you and your twin flame share, that same energetic field, and it becomes polarized. And that polarity 
um, manifest itself physically as a push-pull dynamic. So what happened was you you met your twin flame, you had soul recognition. At whatever point that happened, that's fine. I mean, there's people who've been married to the twin flames for years and all of a sudden they have soul recognition and psh, they're on this journey, right? It, it's just, it, and there's no way to make it happen. There's no way to know when it's gonna happen. It, that is all totally determined by your soul in divine perfect timing. But so you have soul recognition and then at that point, that's when the soul recognizes itself within the body of the twin flames and the two push-pull energies become activated. They build up for a while until the push-pull actually manifests as push-pull. And that build-up is that amazing, amazing time you have with your twin flame. That what we call the honeymoon period where it just builds up and builds up and it's just, it, you feel like closer to no one else. you like, nothing's been happening. You've never felt so high. And then it reaches a tipping point. And that tipping point is when the energies then go into the push-pull dynamic. If you're watching this video, you're, if your twin flame goes to you, you are the push twin flame. That means your energy pushes towards the twin flame. That causes the twin flame, the pull twin flame, to pull away from the push twin flame, away from you. And there's nothing, just like you couldn't stop. You had no idea this was going on. You couldn't stop the push that your energy was doing onto your physical form of your twin flame. You couldn't stop that. You couldn't stop that desperate feeling. You can't stop their constant the constant um, focusing on them, the constant thoughts and obsessiveness about them. You can't stop any of that. Your twin flame cannot stop the pulling away. Your twin flame did not ghost you because they thought to themselves one day, oh, I hate this person. I'm no longer in love with this person. They, it's not because of anything you did, anything you said. It was the underlying energy. All humans, every single one of us are powerless at that point for this energy until you use a process that you know works to balance it out and to shift closer into alignment with your soul. You have to learn how to work with that energy and harness its power and then transmute it. Because remember, your soul is one of love energy and it comes from the 5D. But the part that's here incarnated in the physical 3D world that had to make an opposite of itself in order to assimilate into the 3D paradigm, one opposite in your physical body, one in the physical body of your twin flame. Um, in order to do that, you know, it, ne it needed to, um, it needs to be balanced out. And that is the whole reason why it does that, why it has this journey, why it in incarnates here to begin with, is to learn about itself. And so when your, your pull twin flame, which is the opposite energetically of your push energy, when your pull twin flame pulls, it's your pull twin flame's role is to show you a part of yourself. The part of yourself your twin flame is showing you as they pull away from you is the reaction that your push fear-based energy has to your twin flame pulling away. So that desperate re feeling you got when they pulled away, that pain you feel, the obsessive thoughts that you have, all of those things, the anger, the confusion, the, the helplessness, the, the total <laughs> despair. I mean, I know I get it. I couldn't get up off the floor for six months. I get it. We all get it. But all of that is for a reason. You're meant to see that. You're meant to, to identify it, to acknowledge that it's there. And then you're meant to accept it without judgment. And yes, I know when you're in the throes of the pain, when you're in the throes of the obsessive thoughts, that's the last thing you want to hear. That's the last thing you think is possible for you to even do or anyone to do, but that's how you move along this journey. And so that's what you need to do when your twin flame goes to you. You need to understand what you don't do is you don't keep stalking them and trying to grasp onto them and, and hold on to them for dear might. You don't get angry at them. You don't blame them. Of course, if you feel anything, you always feel your feelings. They're always valid. But then realize that, hey, it's not the twin flame doing this. The twin flame can't help it. Your twin flame can't come running back to you if they, if they wanted to. And believe me, they don't, they want to, but they can't even think about it because that energy controls the mind. And that's why your mind has those obsessive thoughts on your twin flame because your energy pushes towards that twin flame, its body. But your, your twin flame, their energy pulls and has to fixate on anything but you. 
So it can't even, it's, it's their, own mind, their own mind won't even let them focus back onto you. So it, it's really just the energy. And so the first thing not to do is to blame your twin flame or to put it all on them or to try to stop it like by physical means. You cannot do it, work, work this out physically. It just cannot happen because the energy of the soul is much more stronger than any physical energy you can do. Any thoughts, any actions, any words, it just cannot compare to the, to the ultimate power of who you truly are, of love, of your soul. So that's what not to do. What to do is to understand, to recognize that this is that energy and that this energy is in, no one is intentionally doing anything to hurt you, not your twin flame, not even your soul. This is not to hurt you. This is to wake you up to the fact that, hey, look, look at this energy. This is the part of myself I, I need to learn to accept and love without judgment. And there's a specific process and way to do that. That's what we, we do so well. That's why we have every single person that has um, finished our Magnetize Your Twin Flame coaching program has magnetized it, their twin flame back after having been ghosted by their twin flames. And then after they ghost, sometimes twin flames, there's another dynamic. Sometimes they ghost and go silent and totally cut you off. No contact until all of a sudden then they're there after you do the work. But sometimes, they ghost and then all of a sudden they're back and then they ghost again and then they're back. And there's, so those are like the two dynamics that tend to happen um, with people on the twin flame before they, um, they learn how to, how to work with the energy. And working with the energy is the whole purpose and point of this journey. This is why your soul is dragging you through this right now. This is what you are meant to do. And it's about so much more than this physical relating experience with your twin flame. Yes, that's a catalyst. Yes, that got you here. Yes, that's your focus right now. But the most beautiful thing that happens when you do the work and you do the work with the energy and you balance out your energy is that your focus goes right off of that and you empower yourself and you start magnetizing in people's situations and things that resonate with you in every area and aspect of your life. So every area and aspect of your life improves like, like by leaps and bounds. And then you, your purpose finds you and it's just amazing. And your clear senses open up and it's just amazing what happens. And you become almost like this, you become so much more aligned to your soul. So then you become so much more of a, the all powerful being that your soul is even here in physical form. And then of course, the more you align with your soul, the more your twin flame, physical form, your twin flame can come in because your twin flame is your soul and that's how it works. But it must be done on the level of the energy of your soul, chasing them physically, running after them, stalking them, calling them, texting them, banging down their door, harassing their friends and family. None of that is going to, to work. It just won't work. Sure, those things can work in other physical relationships sometimes, maybe. I mean, who knows? They could or they could not. It definitely will not work here. It cannot work with twin flames. This is not a physical relationship like anything that you've ever experienced. This is a reunion of your soul. Phys relationship with anyone else, yes. Do whatever those things will work. They could work, they could not, they could, whatever. There's, they could, anything could work. The twin flame, nothing will work except doing the work of the energetic work on the energetic level of the soul. And if you would like to learn more about how we can help you do this, this is what we do. And, um, you know, we, we are, we know what we're doing. <laughs> um, definitely click the link below this video, schedule a free 15 minute clarity consultation. It's totally free. And you know, you can figure out where you are, wherever you are, we have something to help you. We have some option that can help guide you and get you started at least along this journey and, um, out of the pain, out of the pain that you're feeling and functioning again, like a normal person and then being free of, the heaviness, just the desperation, the yearning, the missing, the feeling like, you know, your life can't go on because it can go on. It will go on. It must go on because right now this is your destiny and this is what you're meant to be doing right now. Your soul is orchestrating it and your soul doesn't fuck up. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped um, provide some clarity on what to do and some comfort because you're not alone. We know exactly what you're going through. We are here to help and um, have an amazing day and lots of love.